Comp Bill is bringing you a special Insider Access Edition Comp Center. First topic up, we got June, baby. Everyone's coming with this. Oh, you won in June, so it doesn't matter. But you're still playing 2K. I'm just, I'm just not sure what's going on in the community with this whole June fiasco. We got the tweets coming up. Tweets of the topic we had. Everyone's coming at self talk because they, right now, they're the king, you know. And everyone was figure out where was this in September, you know. I heard I heard through the grapevine P was playing sharp in September. Who cares where they were in September? Who cares where they were in 2K17? You guys need to stop bringing up your 2K17 accomplishments in June 2018. That's really the issue. It's not that people are good in June. It's that people are bringing up these past accomplishments, and we are in June. What's up? Y'all still playing the game? Let's get right with it. Moving along to it. That's my take on the whole June fiasco, and we got to put respect on teams. Self taught play last night. They're on an impressive streak at the moment. Yeah. Oh, we had Alex just, with the elite three like, behind. He just going gets crazy. The Pop step, normal 21 back. This is when he caught on fire. He had nine points in one minute to open the third. I've never seen anything like this. All you could hear from his twin brother was, let's go, Alex. The center doesn't want to pick up you know, at all. You know, just having they teammates like that. I mean, but regardless, though, Self taught the way they came out, they here. came out so lethargic. It was a 3-2 series. Everyone expected a sweep. I don't know Let's if this is because last game they... No, well not last game. Last series, which was the E2K tournament where they just went super crazy. And they beat the 2017 All-Stars. Well, not All-Stars, but, you know, the old heads versus new heads. And they beat, they beat them up, like, I think it was 3-1. Whatever the series was, just know, self-taught, They this is like the sixth straight tourney win or it's third straight, fourth straight, whatever. But they've won six so far in the year. One of the best teams I've ever encountered. Their playoff run was crazy. Even though throughout, my boy, get on my level, he went crazy throughout, even though he had a bad game in the finals or the game before that, I believe. But one of the best sharps out there, Pete B. Balling. We'll get into how they took down Lethal in the field. But for now, let's tune in to check how my boy get on my level while and before halftime. Man. You got you gotta guard you gotta guard Freddy at half court. That's that's one thing you gotta do. When the clock is running down, he will hit one of them leaners. He will hit one of them big whites. He can shoot one for five the whole game. But best believe he's gonna hit that one at half court on you. And that playoff run they had, it was just impressive. I think two playoff two playoff series before they went sixteen and zero, and it, it, it this team right now is probably the best team in the game. And that, that's just Alex and Freddie I'm talking about for the first two. I still haven't gotten to, to Pete's gameplay. I, I still haven't gotten to Pete. You know, no one guarding Pete out here. They tried mowing them lethal. They tried to send two at Pete. They tried to send two at Pete. I said at Pete. They tried to send two at Expose Him, which ended up in Pete just turned into a monster. An absolute monster. You know, self-taught, they, unfortunately, they sent Lethal into retirement. Well, actually, it was announced that they were going to retire before the series yeah, even say, went through, say. but yep. um, I don't know. It's like they had their kryptonite. As you see, you see Pete with the slip there. Mo brings it up. A lot of people were blaming Mo for this series right here because of his inability to score. He just wasn't being Mo. You know, I'm not sure the 6'10 was the best route for him. Then he goes again to easy left and a blow by and a 5 out. He's on fire. D hugs on the inbound, you know how he do. See how Alex holds his nuts? Still get oh, whoa. Fred, Freddie got a little over oh, ambitious there. You know, at the end of the day, the ball gotta go back to Alex. And you know that leads to a turnover. Good hustle, good hustle, good time. By the end of the day, that's a little mental mistake from Freddie at the moment. Back at it, 33 to 26. This is just this little 40 second recap before halftime in one of these games. Ooh, that's a dot. Mo just, that's not a dot. That's a simple pass. Mo made a simple pass up to Chalk. You know how that goes. Inbound to expose him. See, he gets to bring it up now. Pistol bumping him up. He tried to go for the charge. He a lock. He a lock. So if you good at this game and you a lock, you know, you tap that circle, you get that charge animation. Easy work. But it just depends. 50-50. Depends how the game goes. You know, after this game, Pistol left lethal. You know, um, expose him on. Oh. Ooh. That's cross-court scary. 
over back, reset up to expose them, expose them, dances. See how Pete is just down low in that dead zone or just down low. It, it's just so easy to get in the ball at all times. Pete always gets the offensive rebound against lethal. That's always been on the way in their struggles. 14 seconds going into the half. Mo behind the back elite. That should have been a steal. Ooh, big body trap. Oh, shit. Okay, big body trap. So this game right here, this one was the E2K finals, not the um, not the WR semifinals. This was the E2K little whatever. You guys know. At halftime, you see Mo 6 for 10. That's very uncharacteristic of Mo. Normally at halftime, he would miss at least one or two. No, two or zero shots. Expose him five for eight. Looks like he's spreading the ball out. Got a cool five dimes. 35 to 29 is the score. Some tall has the lead, and they probably will end up having the lead for the entire game. Truth be told, that's just the way they've been. That's just the way they've been playing. Breaks the press in two passes. PB balling up the trap. Trap hold the ball. Ooh, easy. PB balling fills the lane. Pete, Pete has not been able to. Be, Lethal has not been able to stop Pete been balling for about three, four, five series now. I'm not sure what the issue is. Good move by Mo. Little, uh, I guess that's a little, it worked out. It's a lightly contested. Brady hit is lightly contested, you know, but it, you you guys got to go back. You got to watch all the games. And what I'm hearing is that if, if, if Lethal had their center, who's in the league, self-talk would be non-existent. But like I always tell people, you know, if my aunt had a, listen, man, we're going to cut the PG stuff. My aunt had a dick. She, she would be my uncle. So we don't do ifs, all right? We don't do ifs. And as I just, I just what I'm trying to stop here is if this. If Self-Talk played in June and Self-Talk played in August, no, but nobody cares. They're playing. We don't do ifs. Right now, they're the best. Back to it. Alex bringing it up on Pistol. Pistol, you know, he's one of the best defenders in the game. Up on Alex. Brings it back. Alex, heads he back. Oh, shit. Good slide back. Oh, damn. That's See, that, see, that's a launch, but it looked cool. That that, that looked real cute. It looked real cute on him. By any means, Mo brings it up, takes his time with it. 40 34 game behind the back. Okay, take your time with it, Mo. Dribbles, trap. Oh, that's a dot. See, one of the one of the things and one of the main reasons people are saying that self taught are losing to I said self taught lose. <laughs> Lethal's losing to self taught is Sleety's has become hesitant. I don't know what's going on in the offensive scheme over at Lethal, but if you ever watch Sleety's on breakout and early Lethal, you know he is not afraid to pull a shot. And people are blame people people are blaming him. They're saying this isn't the same Sleety's. I don't know if it has something to do with playing with Mo. I, I I'm not sure what's really going on, but they they have to. Well, they're retired, so they don't have to figure it out. But just know what I've observed is his inability to to take the open shot like he used to. It's hurting them a little bit. Also, I feel like uh, last series in the WR, Gradient had a few issues with the open shots also where he wasn't shooting in either game one or game two. But like they said, they said it, it, it's not it, it's not the defense, it's the uh, it's the offense. And um, I don't, it's, it's a mixture of both, in my opinion. So moving along, though, I, I'm not sure we have any team that can rival self-taught anymore. But before... You know, before self taught became the team, it, it was lethal. Then, then there was a team before self taught became the man, and that that team was the Bucks. You know, they always had self taught number. Now the Bucks and self taught, the, the Bucks had self taught number for a minute. They beat them out of the militia tournament. Uh, they beat them in the, in, in the WR last season finals. But I don't know what's going on. I I, I hope they didn't take my my my, my tweet too consistent. To, to heart, now let me stop. They were saying that um, since it's so late, it's really nothing to play for except for certain tournaments. But this thing where Rob Gunner is only showing up for games, only only playing game fives or when you go down one one game two, you know, uh, it, it it just it just I don't know. Play that Hearn clip. Just just, just play that. Just, just, just hey Hearn, get online. Nah, fuck that. Go get flooded. I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's not it, that, that doesn't apply, but it's the same thing. It's just like y'all y'all want to call Rob Gunner. I know he's busy, but y'all can't call Rob Gunner just for Game Five. Game Rob, you can't you, you can't only want to play when when they need you. Come on, man. Let's get back active. Let's get right. You got the formula. Before before June, you were the best point guard on the game. 
both consoles. You were different. Rob Gunner behind the screens to NC overload right. That that was different. I'm gonna need the Bucks to get back in their bag and get right. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm very disappointed in the Bucks right now because they had the potential to remain the best team on the game. Y'all grinded. If you know the Bucks story, when everybody went to Cleveland, them boys grinded from January to whenever. When they came back, they said the Bucks. These kids, you know, you know, 2K. You know what they be like? They be like. I can't believe these kids are. These kids are the best. Well, when well, when they came back, the Bucks was the best, and the Bucks were basically the best from post draft till the ring. They got the ring, and they didn't. Get, they weren't as hungry as they are now. Oh, they had some some PS4 issues too, as far as like I think NC PS4 bro. Moral of the story though, no one could guard NC. No one could guard Rob Gunner. Y'all had the MPBA lookout play on the team. Paul B hitting them crazy shots. Come, pistol was in his bag. He 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 had became the best lock on the game through the Bucks. I need the Bucks to get back hungry. On to the next topic. Xbox comp is non-existent, non-existent at the moment. I I I just can't tell you all the comp teams on Xbox. I mean, when you look at the power rankings, I'm sure they probably outnumber the PS4 teams as far as like how high placed they are. If you look down the power rankings that I have, I'm not really sure, but. The comp on Xbox, everyone's coming over to PS4. Xbox only has about 12 active teams at the moment. I need y'all to get right and get back active on that console. Otherwise, you can't be having the console debates. It's a short topic. I just wanted to let y'all know that Xbox comp needs to get back to where it was. I know you got the excuses that all the point guards are at the league. All the great Xbox guards are at the league. Compete, Fab. JT, Mama, you know he didn't play point guard, but you know what I mean. All the great point guards at the league, but I'm tired of the excuse. PS4 has every up and coming team. Xbox has, I'm not sure they haven't, uh, unless you count like Slaughter Gang, Inch Esports, up and coming team, sure. I guess they, I'm not sure. I mean, they're not up and coming, but I, I don't know how, how it works. Just know that it, it's not active enough for me. And I'm going to leave it just at that, okay? So the WR, one of the, the top two leagues in, in our pro arm scene, they did a little draft league, which basically the same as model as the MCPA league, where they where you you pay twenty dollars and you get a spot to get drafted. You go to showcase, you go to combine. It's a really dope idea. However, it's pretty late in the year. It's pretty late in the year. So what does that mean? In activity issues, when you are faced with these act with these issues and you're in a contest and you're in positions like that, well, what do you do? You know, you, you have to make a change. You have to do something. But some in the community, they're taking this change. Uh, I'll say, the, I don't know if to say the wrong way. I don't know. Let me, let me just read the tweets, man. They really swindle people for $20. 180 times 20 equals come up. Actually, 180 times 20 equals 18. 18 that's 3,600. I know y'all didn't know I had a degree. So, um, yeah, back to what I was saying, 180 times 20 equals come up, shake my head, WR select, what for what, played one game and then it vanished, on my life, I would never pay for anything WR related, shake my head, how y'all still so disorganized, now that, that was a little, it was like, dang, you, you could have probably hit the WR up and just, you know, um, like, like ask them what's going on, let them know that this is not the format you signed up for. It's just different ways to get a, you know, to get a change or to get what you really want, in my opinion. But it's just so much people that's trying to get mad at them over this, and they're, they're trying to compare them to other leagues. It's just, it's just like what Chalk said. I mean, y'all act like there's really a difference between the two. It's two elite leagues, both ran professionally, the reason the select isn't working is because people really don't want to play at the moment. You can't put all that pressure, oh not pressure, you can't just want to throw negativity at the WR because they wanted to do something good and then they changed it up. It's the same thing as the Draft Year 5 tournament we got going on in the community. Pete B. Bowling, he's running the one on PS4. Uh, Keenan, he's running the one on Xbox. There's inactivity you find workarounds. Like, we, we don't have the ability to adapt in this community. That's one of the... Uh, it's just not one of our strong suits, adapting. And we just need to adapt, in my opinion. 
And I don't see the need to come with all the negativity for people that are trying to push the community forward, keep it active, keep bringing things together. Just play your select games, man. Just, just That's it. And you know, on the top left side of the screen, we got the awards. Congrats to Lord Flacco, MVP winner, DOA. You know, Lord Flacco, he... <laughs> I'm not even going to get into it. Just know Lord Flacco, he made his name in the MIT when he defeated my team or a team that I put together, team full of superstars. You know how we do, but it's one game elimination. You can have your win, Flacco. Anyways, this is about you. It's your MVP season. Uh, my brother's keeper, they won team, team of the the season, which, I mean, I, I think you get a little bit like $30 for it or however is the case, but it... it I'm kind of disappointed in my brother's keeper, to, to keep it a buck. Rich Lano, I don't feel you. This, this is the second season. I think MPBA, you were always open. You played a lot of games. Uh, this WRC, you played a lot of games. I mean, you did make it a little far. You lost to the champions. Whatever. I just I, I just want you to win. It's just I, 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 this regular season thing, being a regular season champs. Come on, let's get let's get some more Final Fours in. Let, let's get to it, you know? Uh, King Rainmaker, he won Defensive Player of the Year. I think that was just they plugged in some numbers and he got a little, you know. Last but not least, I'm not sure how... Um, oh, no, I'm not last but not least. Let's, let's revert back. Official Moon, leading scorer. You got that. But like I always say, I mean, I, these, 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 these awards, I don't really look too much into them. Based on I'm not a regular season type of dude, type of guy, this late in the season, it's just regular season accolades is just a little washed down. I, I'm not sure how official DC won the WR <laughs> Rookie of the Year, because he's been a rookie since, uh, let's just, I guess this is his first WR season, but this guy's been a rookie since whatever, since January. This is crazy. He won MPBA Rookie of the Year or Rookie to Look Out For, and now he won WR, but I'm just not sure how he managed to do that. While we're on the topic of official DC, though, we're just going to cut to some clips of him of his MPBA performance recently. Well, his team performance, not him personally. His, I'm not sure he played too well this game, but his team performance because it's a team game. I know we get so used to the point guard thing. Shout out to Zar, shout out Story, shout out Rando. New lane, you see them on the bottom of the power rankings. They up there. Let's cut to the let's cut to the clip. Cut to the clip. So we got the dying moments of an MPBA regular season game. DC boy to call a timeout on his old teammate in the clutch. I ain't even know, bro. Look how calm they are, though. Look how, look how composed they are. He ain't even know. Throw that in again. There it is. Let's go. Easy win over that Xbox team. Right back out of game two. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Fuck you talking about it. Come on, Bones! I'm oh, past his head shot. Bones, that was a white? Hey, you white as fuck. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> and you know, that's how it is, man. It's just, new lane there, top team. Cut the check there, top team. New team coming through. I just wanted to show y'all a little bit, a little moment. You know, they got it done. But here's, here's the thing that I really just wanted to show. I, I, I wanted to show an Xbox PS4 game right before I got into this guard and pick and roll thing. So Xbox teams, apparently, they can't guard pick and roll. PlayStation teams, apparently, all they run is pick and roll. But some PlayStation teams can't guard pick and roll also. So we, we, we got to find a balance right now. Y'all got to let me know in the comment section if y'all want to break down Little, little, little clip, little two minute, you know, little breakdown section of how to guard the pick and roll. Are y'all really having this much difficulty of stopping someone from slipping? They rarely pop on their pick and, their pick and pop. They really do that. So it's not hard to guard the pick and roll. It's not, I, I'm just not sure. I know y'all have gotten so used to guarding five out and it's difficult that when you encounter this or when you encounter teams running anything different from five out, it's a little shocker to get back into the, how to used to do it, how, how to guard it, how you... I know y'all don't have the proper bills out here, but I, I can show you clips of where it is done properly. So let me know. Make sure you let me know in the comment section whether to, if you need a video or a little tutorial in the next port, in the next comp center on how to guard pick and roll. Moving on. Coming up, we have 
One of the greatest tournaments I've seen presented. Had the best opportunity to give you guys momentum going into 2K19. The Nap NAPX tournament hosted by Big West. Y'all make sure to contact him for signups. The winner will receive Brandon 2K19 an article and magazine. It, 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 it's, it's a great opportunity. I wouldn't miss out. Just make sure you contact Big West. The coverage is great. Everything looks great in the content. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much about plugging plugging the, the, the tournament. I just know it's a good tournament. Just as every MPBA tournament is a good tournament. Every WR tournament is a good tournament. Every E2K tournament is a good tournament. We all striving for one thing. Just make sure you hit up Big West. Get your teams in. My advice to everybody: just play with your 2K19 teams. I don't see why not. You're trying to build toward 2K19. We're at the end of the year. The tournament's going to give you momentum. You're going to be featured places because of the tournament. You want to make sure that you have the same core or the same team into next year that won this tournament with you. You know, here on Comp Center, man, we just, it, it's just different. I know y'all see the power rankings on the bottom. I, and before we get any, you know, uh, before we wrap up the episode without even addressing it, number one, of course, give it a little recap. Go back through the episode. We talked about them through all episodes. This is basically their episode, self-taught, of course. Coming in, number two is KMT. Now, the reason KMT is over the Bucks, even though the Bucks just beat KMT in the series, was because that's two members of KMT, plus, I mean, it was only two members of KMT that played the game, plus KMT is a recent champ, whereas the Bucks are two seasons ago champs now, as of yesterday. Coming in at number four, we have Lethal, who have announced their retirement. So that means next week, Lethal will not be on any, well, next episode, Lethal won't be on any power rankings. They have now retired, they've officially retired. I see most of you trying to come back in. If he does, then I guess they'll remain. But as of now, Lethal, since they have retired, they do not, they are now no longer on any power rankings. Number five, we have PTP. Championship team, they just won the MIT. That team has split. So as of next week now, Based on performance, they will take a drop or they will go up. I'm just giving you guys letting you know the inside on how this how this worked out, how it's weighted. Number six, we have overlooked talent. They were in the they were in the finals with PTP. That's basically Jig and Go team. By the way, any of these games, you can just go back and watch them on the channel. Any of these teams, you can just go back and watch them. Number seven, we have Tunnel Vision. Tunnel Vision, they were just in the finals against Self Taught. And you know how that ended. You know the saddest thing about this ton of vision team, even though they're number seven and they won't be here next week. Because they should have the They are their personalities never match. Yet they made it this far. Which is really sad to see the way they got on Twitter after the game. Talking about I'm happy to get rid of these bums and it just it's just the wrong way to go about it. I know they're young, I know they're gonna bounce back. But it's like you made it to the final four, like I mean, no, to the finals, not the final four. You made it to the finals. Put some respect on the tournament's name. Don't, like, don't, don't put, y'all need to stop spilling y'all little beans all out on Twitter off of one disagreement, off of two disagreements. Like, you can't just be calling your teammates bums. Y'all made it to the finals. Then you saying the tournament was a bum tournament. That's how I'm taking it. And that's, and that's just my piece on that. Back, back, back to the power rankings at hand. Coming in at number eight, we got No Doubt. If you don't know, they were on a crazy comp game winning streak during the WR regular season. I don't really rate WR regular season too too high. So the bottom teams, they're all regular season teams, in my opinion. Except for uh, New Lane. New Lane, they're a playoff team. They make it all the time. It's just that New Lane, they're not... I, would, I can't put them higher than those other teams. But number nine, Slaughter Gang. Another regular season team. Another team that just broke up and got back together mid at the end of the season after number one thing. Just keep y'all keep 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 y'all disagreements off of Twitter if y'all know y'all gonna get back together the next day, please. Number ten, New Lane. Then we go into the honorable mentions. We got Team Caution. The only reason Team Caution isn't top ten at the moment, well they are top ten, but the reason they didn't make the top ten was because I wasn't too sure of what they're doing on the dual consoles at the moment. We, we, I know they merged with Throwdown. Or throw down members joined them. So that's that with them. On Xbox side, they're doing great in the WR. They're still like in the WR as the regular season team with the other with, with at the end. You see all those teams I named at the end? 
that said our regular season team, it'll be dope. Um, OHC, another regular season team, even though the first round exit wasn't their fault in the MPBA, but that their honorable mention. In esports, I think they're the number one run ranked seed right now in the regular season. So those teams are just on the bubble. They're all there. Eight, eight, eight through eight through honorable mentions, except for New Lane, are all on the cusp. And that was the first episode of Comp Center. Let me know in the comments below if y'all need a little help with the pick and roll. I know y'all struggling. If you don't want to admit it out loud, you can feel free to hit me in the DMs on the side. But besides that, your boy Comp Bellis, he about to head outside. We spent too much time on this 2K thing. I'm not sure if y'all really noticed that. Enjoy Comp Center. It's going to be a weekly thing. Might be a bi-weekly thing. See you next week. Not for nothing, I'm running through packs quick. Oh, it told me invest in a ratchet. They get hectic, they bet through their spazzes. You know, limit 150.